Hey there, this is my message in a bottle from Bondo, Kenya. Now I have no um, internet access and neither my cell phones work. I've got a Kenyan one and an American one. And for some reason I can't get any either of them to call out. So I'm gonna have to ask somebody about that tomorrow and see if I can figure out the situation. And I'm not really sure when this video will be uploaded because of that, but we'll do our best. I have had quite the day. It's been a wonderful day. Um, this morning I had breakfast at the Mayfield guest house with some um, wonderful Christian conservationists who are doing a lot of work all over the world, but they happen to be in Kenya. Um, and then um, for the rest of the morning I was with the Youth for Christ staff in Nairobi and that was an incredible experience. I got to um, share in their prayer time and go through a teaching about prayer done by a woman named Sandy Weiss, who's an American, living, who has lived in Kenya for, I think, 26 years now. Um, and then I had lunch with Jenny Rizik, who um, I grew up with her son, Tom, and Martha, who is who works with teen pregnancy in Nairobi, and with Anne, who is the national director of Kenya YFC. And then, from lunch, I went to, um, Jenny took me to catch my plane to Bondo, however, we got caught in traffic and I missed my plane. Now, luckily I was able to get on the next plane that was leaving 40 minutes later, but I tell you what, that was quite the experience. So I, I skidded in just in time to catch the 5.30 flight to Bondo. Um, and it was, I slept through most of the flight because I'm, I'm tired out, I'm kind of jet lagged. And it's been just busy, 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 go, go, go. But anyways, as we were flying into Bondo, I did wake up <laughs> and, what an incredibly gorgeous area. Um, the landscape is just incredible. There are hills and mountains, green, forested, lush. Um, we flew over Lake Victoria, Kisumu, is, which is the town that has the airport. Um, it's right on Lake Victoria. And then we drove about an hour into Bondo. And I had lunch at, or supper at Dominic's house. Incredible, incredible meal. Um, all sorts of fish and chicken and beef and rice and um, corn maize and fresh fresh papa which was an amazing treat um so just wonderful to to meet his friends and and eat in his home there were um, some women there who cooked the meal it was just very very beautiful um very delicious and now i am at sarah house the anglican guest house here in bondo um, it's a beautiful place too. The Mayfield Guest House had kind of a colonial feel. It had, um, you know, a lot of the wood and I don't know, it's kind of more of a European feel. This area, it's very big. It's very open and airy and concrete. Um, it, it reminds me very much of the bigger, nicer places in Liberia. Um, almost walking into it is almost like walking into a convent, you know, just big and open and but very simple. So I will, I'll give you a quick tour of my guest house here, or my, my room. <laughs> I'll try to get some pictures of the guest house as we go along. Um, this goes out onto an open terrace and my closet. And see, I thought this was pretty, pretty fun. Zebras. Yeah. And my bathroom, the lights aren't on in there, but it's a real bathroom which is wonderful, much nicer than a squatty potty. Yeah, my door. So anyway, I'm here, I'm safe, I'm just cut off from the world. So I will talk to you whenever I'm able to talk to you. Hopefully that'll be soon. Bye.